Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin and for today's video, I am only eating fast food I have never tried before for the whole entire day. So I'm actually at Wendy's for breakfast because a bunch of you keep telling me how good Wendy's French toast sticks are and I've never tried them. Okay, so I got the French toast sticks a honey butter chicken biscuit. I was just gonna get the French toast sticks and then I saw this on the menu too and it sounded really good so I wanted to try it. And a caramel frosty chino. I've actually never tried their frosty chinos so hopefully that's good. Okay, this is the biscuit and they are not kidding when they call it honey butter because it is covered in butter. <laughs> Let's take a bite. Okay, Wendy's biscuits are so good. I don't know how I've gone this long without ever trying them. I don't really love the chicken though. It's like very dry and stringy. I don't know if it's like always like that or if it's just this one. And the honey butter is just a little bit too sweet for me. It kind of like tastes like icing. I don't think I'd ever actually get this again. I do love their their biscuit breakfast sandwiches like the egg and cheese on a biscuit that was so good definitely recommend their biscuits i don't know if i'd recommend their honey butter chicken sandwich though all right i definitely need a drink to wash that down oh that literally tastes like dessert <laughs> whoa okay their frosty chinos are so sweet i know there's ice cream in it so that makes sense <laughs> maybe a little too sweet for me it is good though i'd probably give it like a seven out of ten okay The whole reason I came here, really the whole reason I did this video, <laughs> is to try these. Okay, wow. That is so good. Mmm. These have the perfect texture and consistency to them. They have such a nice crunch, but then they're like still really chewy and they have such good flavor. And then of course the syrup is like the perfect touch. <laughs> mm. If you're in the mood for brunch toast sticks and you don't have any at home and you don't feel like making them, <laughs> go get to Wendy's. <laughs> Yeah, you would not be disappointed. These are amazing. Okay, well, if you're someone that told me to go try their French toast sticks, thank you because those were delicious. Definitely would get those again, 10 out of 10. The honey butter chicken biscuit probably wouldn't get again. I love their biscuits though. So if you've never tried their actual biscuits, go try them. And then the caramel frosty chino is pretty good. It is just very sweet. So if you love sweet coffee, you'd probably love it. If you don't, then I would stay away from it. But I'd give a breakfast as a whole an eight out of 10. It is really good. So I will see you guys soon for lunch. It is lunchtime and I am actually at Jersey Mike's. So 
I love Jersey Mike's, but I only ever get a cold sub. I always get a turkey and cheese sub. That's just my go-to when I get a cold sub. But they have a lot of different options on their menu and they have a lot of hot subs. So I ended up getting the Big Kahuna. <laughs> I only got it because I liked the name, but it's a cheese steak with grilled onions, peppers, mushrooms, jalapenos, and extra white American cheese. So I did order this quite some time ago because I <laughs> sent it to the wrong location. I ordered online because I'm like, oh, a cheese steak's going to take a long time to cook. So I figured I'd order ahead. And it turns out there's two on the same street, but like... <laughs> 20 minutes from each other <laughs> so it might be a cold cheesesteak by now I'm sure it'll still be really good though but this is what it looks like can I open it okay this looks and smells amazing I love cheesesteaks especially in the summer so let's give it a bite Mm. That is so good. Oh wait, I've been missing out because this is delicious. <laughs> I know a lot of people prefer their bread toasted with a cheesesteak, but I love soft, like chewy bread. And you can like see just how like soft it is. And then like the mushrooms and onions and peppers like just have such good flavor and i was nervous with the jalapenos that it was gonna be super spicy but it's not it has like a subtle kick to it mm. if you have a jersey mike's near you and you like cheesesteaks go and try this this is a 10 out of 10. you know what's funny so the other day orlando was like busting my chops and he was like you are too generous with your ratings he's like you gotta channel your inner dave portnoy <laughs> and he's like if you think it's a 10 give it an 8 because it's probably not actually a 10 I'm like, if you want to pretend that you're Dave Portnoy, either join me in my videos or make your own channel. I don't think I'm too generous. If I like it, I like it. <laughs> I'm not going to be like, oh, this is amazing. 7.4. <laughs> It is dinner time and I'm actually at KFC. So you guys know if you've watched my other videos that Popeyes has my favorite, my gas light. <laughs> Popeyes has my favorite chicken sandwich. So KFC and Popeyes are actually like directly across the street from each other. So anytime I want a chicken sandwich, I always go to Popeyes, which means I've never tried KFC's chicken sandwich. So today I am. So I got a crispy chicken sandwich, a biscuit, mashed potatoes and gravy because I've never tried their mashed potatoes and gravy, and then a blackberry Pepsi. So I tried their blackberry lemonade and I absolutely loved it. And apparently you can add the blackberry to any drink. So I got a blackberry Pepsi and I feel like this is either going to be amazing or horrible. Okay, this is their chicken sandwich. It looks good, but I feel like Popeye's looks better. I feel like Popeye's just like listens. 
um, let's see. Okay, there's a little bit of mayonnaise on top. And then there is mayonnaise with some pickles. So it has the same things on it that Popeyes has. I don't know why I'm comparing it to Popeyes. <laughs> I'm not I'm not doing Popeyes versus KFC, but <laughs> just the first thing that comes to mind is Popeyes, I guess. Okay, let's give this a try. That's pretty good. <sighs> mm. Okay, I will say, I think I've been sleeping on this because this is actually really good. Mm-hmm. I do think... Popeyes is crispier. Like the outside is crispy, but um the rest of it is kind of like soggy from the mayonnaise. It has a really good flavor though. I'd say like eight out of ten. really want to try this blackberry pepsi i am a pepsi over coke kind of person please don't unsubscribe <laughs> i know that is a big debate whoa blackberry pepsi is amazing mmm Oh my gosh. I think I'm just going to come here like once in a while, literally for this. <laughs> I'm not even joking. This is delicious. It's like cherry Coke vibes, but like blackberry Pepsi. <laughs> you have that like subtle blackberry flavor with like the Pepsi and they just complement each other really nicely. Mm. This is even better than that blackberry lemonade and I loved that. Okay, let's try their biscuit because I've heard KFC has some really good biscuits. Mm. It's like so pillowy. All I need is some like hot honey to go with this. <laughs> this video I feel like is such a fun one because fast food places have so much food and they have so much new food always coming out so I feel like the old things on their menu often get get like forgotten about and if you're like me I am a total creature of habit so when I go somewhere and I know that I like something unless I'm filming a video I stick to like my go-to. I feel like there's nothing worse than like being hungry and going out to eat and then like you try something new instead of getting something you know you like and then you try something new and you don't like it. Like that is just the, the worst. <laughs> so I just don't do that. <laughs> but this video obviously is like forcing me to and I have liked every single thing that I've gotten which is so fun because now I know in the future like I like KFC's chicken sandwiches I like Jersey Mike's big kahuna <laughs> sandwich and Wendy's French toast sticks are bomb okay I am getting a full but we have to try these mashed potatoes I realized that I have actually had them because I had the smashed potato bowl, but I didn't have them like by themselves. I, I had them in a bowl. So I guess like, I don't know. Does it count? Doesn't it count? We're going to just say it doesn't count because I got them already. Hmm.
Okay, I definitely prefer the fries. I'm more of a fry person than a mashed potato person. But these are pretty good. I feel like if I loved mashed potatoes, these probably would be like an 8 out of 10. But I'm going to give them like a 6. Last stop of the day is Dairy Queen. So I have been loving Dairy Queen lately. Ever since I went for that one video, I've been going here more times than I should admit. Um, I used to really never go to Dairy Queen, but now I live around the corner from one and it's an issue. But anyway, <laughs> they have so many different options on their menu. I was looking through it for so long and I couldn't figure out which one I wanted to try today. But then I saw they have a Royal Reese's Fluff and Nutter Blizzard. How fun is that? So it says Reese's peanut butter cups and peanut butter topping blended with our world famous soft serve to blizzard perfection and filled with marshmallow center. So I just thought that that was so fun. I mean, who doesn't love a fluff and nutter? So. <laughs> Let's give it a bite. Oh my gosh. Oh. Mm. Okay, this is probably the best thing I've ever gotten from here. Oh my gosh. I don't really see like the actual marshmallow. The picture shows the marshmallow in the center of it. Which I don't see it, but the flavor of this is just like pure perfection. <laughs> mm. There's like those crunchy peanut butter bits. And then you get like the chocolate pieces and just like everything about this. Mm. This is definitely the best thing I've had all day. I just got a bite of the marshmallow. And that might've been the first bite of marshmallow I've gotten. Um, Cause I don't think it's in the middle. It must just be like swirled throughout it. But that is like literally like fluff. <laughs> well, I know what ice cream I'm going to be getting all summer long. <laughs> Okay, well, on that note, I am going to wrap this video up here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, and if you're not subscribed, make sure you do because I have a giveaway going on right now. Somebody will win a pair of Apple AirPod Pros. All of the details are down below in the details of this video, so make sure you check that out, and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.